Hi, what after BDS or options after BDS is the only thing in the mind of dental interns and young dentists. So today we are going to come up with 19 options what you can do after BDS. If you are interested, stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Satish Kumar and this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to tell you 19 options after BTS. Towards the end, we will also give you a link where you will get all these 19 options in one page. And the third thing is we will explain you how do we feel you should go about sorting these options. So let us begin. We will be dividing all these options into clinical or dental options after BDS and non-clinical or non-dental options after BDS. So first, let us start with the clinical options after BDS. Option number one, MDS. Everyone who does BDS and is interested in clinical dentistry always gives a thought to whether he or she should do MDS. For that, we have created an entire set of video known as MDS Yes or No. If you have not checked it, later go to the description and check it out. The next option is if you are not interested in MDS or in specialization and you want to go into general dentistry, we always suggest joining a private clinic as an associate to get a hang about how clinical practice is done in the private sector. So joining a private clinic is your option number two. The third option is joining a college as a tutor or doing junior residentship or housemanship. When you're working in a tu as a tutor, you are usually fixed to a specific department and that job is given to you directly by the college. You may be working there for years also. However, when you join as a junior resident, usually it is a six months or a one year contractual basis. That is, you rotate through the clinical branches. It's something similar to your internship where you are able to work on your skills and develop it. Once you're confident about your basic work, you can join a trust or a small hospital with a dental setup where you do everything from diagnosing the patient to treating the patient on your own. If not that, you can join one of the corporate places like a Colgate or a Lancelot and Tribro where they have clinical setups. The advantage of that is you can continue working there even after you put your private practice later on. So the next option is putting your own private practice. But what if you do not want to put your own clinical setup? You can go abroad for a permanent or a temporary basis and you can do clinical practice out there. If you're staying in India, the other option is to join the Army Dental Corps. But for that you need discipline and focus. If you do not have that, you can join other government jobs like BRC and the railways. So these are the list of clinical options after BDS. Now moving on to the non-clinical or non-dental options after BDS. First is MHA, that is Masters in Health Admin. Here, you basically look into the business and administration part of healthcare. Next is MPH, Masters in Public Health. Basically, you look into the health of a given population. You can join an NGO, government jobs and jobs in UNICEF, WHO and so on. We have created a video about MHA and MPH. Do not forget to check it out in the description. If you however think you have a scientific bend and you like research, then you can try clinical research. If not clinical research, you can try pharmacovigilance. It is basically a small niche in clinical research. We have made a video about it as well. So do check that out. Then there are options in medical transcription or virtual scribing. A lot of jobs are currently available in that particular field. If not that, you can join an insurance company and eventually get into medical underwriting. Then comes the current craze, forensic dentistry. These are the healthcare related options in India. 
what if you're not interested in staying in India, you can go and do MPH or MHA abroad. Then the options which take you completely away from the healthcare system. The first option in that is MBA. You can do a plain MBA or you can do an MBA in marketing or finance or any other topic. What if you want to serve the nation, but not as a dentist? You can give a UPSC exam and you can become an IAS, IPS or IRS officer. So these are the 10 non-clinical or non-dental options after BDS. Before we move forward, if you're liking this video, please do not forget to hit the like button. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we will be explaining most of these options in detail in our further videos. This entire list of options which we have stated above is present in a link which we have given in the description below. You can go down there and click on it. Next comes, how would you make use of this list? Our opinion is you need to take the entire list, either print it out or write it down. Then sit and think what your current situation is and cross out which are not possibilities based on your time or your financial condition. Once you have a core list of things which you can try, sit alone or sit with people involved in your planning. That it include your partner or it could include your parents, your siblings or your close set of friends and sort out as to which you feel you would like and which has scope so that you can succeed and then take a call as to what you want to do after BDS. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.